Hey friends, Stephen here with Leviathan Snakes. Hi, I'm Courtney with Leviathan Snakes. And for our Sunday video, we're going to be talking about the Inchi Morph, like pretty much its history, description, giving you a lot of different animals with it because we just finished up our Inchi Week on Instagram. I thought it would be fun to do kind of like a Morph of the Week and um, kind of showcase the animals that fall within that morph. Now, once we start doing it more often, we're going to have a lot of animals repeated under different morphs because we have um, a lot of multi-gene animals, um, and that's why I ended the week on our banana and she marigold, so that we could segue into bananas and um, start showing off those. Our Instagram handle is at leviathan period snakes, and we post pretty much daily, a lot of times multiple times a day. As for the video, let's get to it. specifically because it is a very popular, very often seen codominant morph. Inchi was one of the very first morphs that caught our eye. Just the reduction in pattern and just bright gold colors were so stunning that we just thought they looked really cool, as well as a lot of the combos for Inchi just look amazing. So like all other morphs, Inchi had to be discovered by someone and that kind of just means it was noticed and it was proven to be hereditary. So when you have a new morph, when you have a snake that is imported from somewhere or you've been breeding and you know something's a little different about it, it isn't normal, but you don't know what it is, you kind of have to breed the, that snake to prove it out. And you have to do that by, you know, pair, maybe you pair to a normal. And if you get that visual pattern again, um, then you know it's codominant and it's, um, hereditary, but maybe none of the offspring have that. Well, then you pair the offspring back to your uh, original snake, and that's how you can tell if what you're looking at is a recessive gene. So the Inchi morph was first proven to be hereditary in 2002 by Lars Brandel, and he had uh, imported these animals, ball pythons, from Ghana. And as he got this shipment of ball pythons, he noticed that two of them were identical, but that these two were different than the rest of them. And he ended up raising them up big enough to where they could breed. He bred them and proved out Inchi as a genetic trait. So it's been around for a good bit. It's not one of the oldest morphs, but you know, 2002 was a lot longer ago than you might think it is. <laughs> Inchi is described as a pattern reduction morph and it brings out a lot of golds in the alien head. So it's like way more yellow and gold and bright than a normal is as well as less busy of a pattern. When it's put into combos, it cleans things up, makes really, really sleek look, really, really cool combos. So another cool thing about Enchi for me is how it shares a locus point with a couple of other morphs. When you have a parent that has one of these allelic combinations such as cinnamon Enchi or black pas pastel and Enchi, they will always pass along one copy of either cinnamon or Enchi, black pastel or Enchi, um, and they will only ever pass along one, just like that. Um, recessive parent can only pass along one copy of their gene. A um, allelic combination can only pass along one, one gene from their allelic combination. So a few of our favorite combos are all of, all of the campfire projects. So like campfire, bonfire, and just in case anybody isn't aware, the campfire is inchi, cinnamon, and calico together. A bonfire is banana, inchi, cinnamon, calico. And they are just some of the most gorgeous animals we've seen. My favorite inchi combination would be inchi, like single, just two genes together would be uh, banana inchi. I love the banana inchi, especially when it's one of those really um, high expressions with blushing and the like, bright, bright orange and all the different colors in it. Um, our girl Marigold, we purchased her from Dynasty Reptiles down in Miami, Florida, and I cannot, I can't believe how pretty she is, to be completely honest with you. I see them a couple, like sometimes you see them with more of a yellow and brown, but she just has that bright yellow, those bright oranges, those like beautiful blushings. She, she really does look like a pretty flower, so that is where she got her name. I also really like Enchi Clown. Um, I think it reduces the pattern in a gorgeous way. They are so visually stunning. Absolutely love Enchi Clowns. Um, 
Stephen loved Enchi Sunsets. Those are his favorite. Enchi Sunset, Enchi Cinnamon Sunsets. They are just beautiful animals. Gorgeous, gorgeous combos. The only thing I don't think I like very much in Enchi is the albino candy or candino uh, combinations. I think I would like them better if they worked in a reverse way. I would really like to see the white snake with the yellow um, pattern, but instead you get a yellow snake with a little bit of like white. And I think if it was the other way around, it would be absolutely stunning. Um, unfortunately, that's not how it works. <laughs> right now, we are posting a video on Wednesdays that's focused on like ball python marketing, as well as our regular video on Sundays, which is just more um, what we're doing throughout the week and kind of recaps for everything that's happened. In addition, for the next few weeks, we're gonna be posting a bonus video on Fridays, and it has to deal with a collaboration we've done with Troy at Balls and Strikes. It's really, really good stuff. He's an awesome dude. If you aren't following him, you definitely should. We'll have a link to his page in the description. If you wanna see our next Morph of the Week, go check out our Instagram. We're showing off all of our bananas, and we've got quite a few of them. In fact, we're hoping to end the banana week with some banana hatchlings that we are expecting by next weekend. So uh, really looking forward to that. Thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, if you don't already, go ahead and follow us on Instagram at Leviathan period snakes. Uh, Steven works pretty hard on these YouTube videos, so subscribe to those and uh, see you again soon.